All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to look at using the division ladder method to find greatest common factor. Here we have the numbers 96 and 40. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to write down the first five prime numbers. Then we're going to use our divisibility rules to test these five prime numbers. Uh, when we do so for 96 and 40, we want to just draw our little division ladder box, but instead of around one number, we're drawing it around both numbers. And we ask ourselves, are both of these numbers divisible by 2? And we use our divisibility rules. Do they end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? Are they even numbers? And they are, so we get our answer 2. And when we take 96 divided by 2 and 40 divided by 2, we get 48 and 20. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make another rung to our ladder here. And we're going to ask ourselves, are both of these numbers divisible by 2? And we look at, again, our divisibility rule. They are both even numbers. So yes, they are both divisible by 2. Then we do, once again, 48 divided by 2 and 20 divided by 2. And we ask ourselves one more time, are both of these numbers divisible by 2? Yes, they are both even numbers. So we write a 2 out to the side. And we divide by 2 to get the next two numbers, 12 and 5. Going back to another rung of the ladder. Are both of these numbers divisible by 2? And we say no, so we move up to the next number, 3. They're not both divisible by 3, because the sum of the number's digits aren't divisible by 3. And only one of them is divisible by 5, so the only common factor that they have at this point is 1. And that tells us that we're done. So we can circle all of the common factors between these two numbers, and we know that if you multiply these together, we will end up with our greatest common factor. So, for this particular problem, the greatest common factor is 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the third power, which is equal to 8. Well, I hope that helped you out using the division ladder method to find greatest common factor. See ya!